Literally the first time I tried to film this, my microphone wasn't picking up at all, so I was just kind of sitting there talking in silence. But anyways, hello everyone, welcome back. If you are unaware of who I am, I am Ren, and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. This is my series Low IQ Ranting, where I find something I want to yap about, and I yap about it. Uh, this is my second time filming this though, so I'm drinking my coffee. Anywho, before I get on to this video, I would like to ask a question that's completely unrelated to it, and this week's question is, what's a Spotify artist you listen to with under 100k streams? My answer is the uh, artist Shades Taken. His music is very good, uh, he's highly underrated, and he literally only gets like, I think like 400 streams a month, so I want to hear your answer in the comments below, and I want to find some underrated picks. Commentary, a large and diverse genre on YouTube uh, that has become quite popular. However, I've noticed that for some reason, commentary slop has made its way back around to the front page of many YouTube homepages. The genre itself isn't necessarily slop. Um, there's a lot of commentators that add a lot of discussion and nuance to the topics that they cover, and that's really good. However, it seems like half of them are just pumping out videos like they're a content farm with minimal effort and nothing new added to the conversation, just something that's been repeated a million times over, and honestly not even finding anything original to cover at all. I understand that finding something new and original to talk about can be quite a lot of effort. I make commentary videos too. However, it's one thing to talk about a trending topic once, but to make 10 or 20 videos on one topic that is trending is insane. Like, did you really have to create four Dr. Disrespect videos back to back or continue to upload Ethan is online videos monthly at this point for two years straight because he made one video on you? That would be like if I made one Aspen video per week since I made the original video on her. It's spam, it's really annoying, and it's not necessary at all. And I don't think the situations you're covering has updated much within that time span anyways. Now, I want to point out that I don't think gameplay commentary itself like as a genre is slop. I've watched some really good commentators like add a lot of nuance or adding more details over the gameplay footage and I think what makes like a channel slop is repetition to the point that the channel can no longer be different from like an actual content farm whether it be circulating content on multiple channels or just spam uploading on trending topics just so that you can get like a shit ton of views and clicks because YouTube's gonna recommend you to everyone in their mother and it's always just low effort repetitive short videos that only reach about eight to ten minutes just so that they can get their mid-roll ads in and then move on anyways i think the issue most people have with these channels oftentimes is that they make multiple channels so their content can like circulate more as i just said and the issue with that is that they end up spamming the fuck out of these channels and then all you see on your goddamn home feed is like garbage like it's just garbage garbage drama content that's low effort, honestly not even that entertaining because it's been covered a million times and from my own experience everything they say could literally be summarized in a short twitter thread. I can summarize all four of like sensitive society's doctor disrespect videos in this script and leave ample room for more discussion so I'm gonna do that because fuck him. <laughs> doctor disrespect was caught talking inappropriately to a minor over twitch's now defunct twitch whisper. He planned to meet up with the minor at TwitchCon that year. He then gets banned on Twitch and pretends he doesn't know why. He then gets an unbanned shortly after. Then, later on, like a couple years down the line, an ex-Twitch employee says he can reveal what the ban was originally for, and he does so. So Dr. Disrespect gets banned on Twitch. Now the internet hates him. He then responds confirming the allegations, then takes a break. Now he's back, and now he's LARPing as a right-wing circle jerk. You're welcome. I just summarized all four of Sensitive Society's Dr. Disrespect videos that are like 8 to 10 minutes each uh, in under a minute. I am sure you could fit everything I said into a small Twitter post as well. Now, a lot of these are just spam channels. That's what I would label them as. They will do the most mental gymnastics as well to justify their spammy content on the YouTube like homepage or like having multiple channels to spam the same content on with no difference between the content 
content they're creating and they'll often do that with like multiple eight minute long videos multiple times a day and then they'll try to justify it by saying I'm just covering stuff people need to be aware of and they need to see it. Well that argument falls flat when you're covering that topic four times a week and only post more on it when it does well. You obviously do not care about how the information is delivered either or whether or not you're incorrect on the situation because you're uploading a video the same day the drama starts not even waiting for updates to make sure you have your facts straight. Literally think about the quiet situation. Think about how many channels didn't even wait for his response to make a post about him labeling him as a predator. <laughs> And then at that, is it really necessary to upload four videos within the same week on the same topic on multiple different channels? No, it's not. You can let people know what's happening without spamming 10 million fucking videos. You wait for everyone's side to come out, wait for all the evidence to circulate and come out, then make one long accurate video on the subject. If a major update comes out afterwards, cool, you can cover that all in one video too. Too. There's just no fucking reason to upload videos on the same drama multiple times a week, especially for those who do it on multiple channels. While making this video, I kept clicking around and when I thought I would click be clicking on a video from one creator, it turns out it would be a whole different creator. If your videos are so low effort and your thumbnails are so uninspired that I could not tell the difference in content until you start started speaking, I think that's a big fucking issue. I could show you three different thumbnails from three different channels and without telling you they're from different channels, you would have never known that they were all from different fucking channels. <laughs> For such a diverse genre, there seems to be like no diversity whatsoever. Once you've watched one video, you've watched them all. It's literally just like reaction content 2.0 at this point. And a lot of times they'll go on these side tangents that are literally unrelated to what they're talking about just to make the video longer or they'll repeat themselves a million times over. Like, bro, I clicked on the video to see why KSI is finished and not to hear you ramble about your day or repeat the same fucking thing five times over. I understand, I'm not stupid. Here, I'm going to play a clip for you. A clip that is the most hypocritical dog shit that I have ever heard. Quickly, I do agree with him on this. Commentary videos about Jack Dorothy crashing should not be 20 minutes long. Who is watching that? In my opinion, that is top tier slob. You can legitimately watch like one and a half episodes of Baby Reindeer, or you can listen to a full 30 to 35 minute album. Some YouTubers end a runtime, it's just ridiculous. The reason why it's so long, it's because they put more ads and they make more money. And uh, hold up, actually, this is a perfect example. So <laughs> to my right, I have the KSI situation just doesn't end, and it's 21 minutes long. I don't hate Pyro, I actually watch it from time to time. I don't have any issues with the guy. But the Launchly situation is not 21 minutes worthy. I doubt the average person cares. They just want some background noise, commentary videos getting way too fucking long, hate wasting time. That's why you look through my channel. If a video needs to be 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes. If a video needs to be 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes. If a video needs to be seven minutes with 25 seconds it's gonna be that i'm not going to add an extra 40 seconds just for the sake of uh, now i can put three ads at this point i don't care about that because i personally hate when youtubers waste my time when they're repeating the same shit over and over and over again not because they're a little retarded like myself but they just repeat themselves they can stretch out the video to eight minutes with one second videos overall are getting way too long there's no reason for your average everyday commentary guy to be making 20 30 minute videos on the daily and some drama is not 20 or 30 or 40 minutes worthy like there's quite a few creators on here that i like and i want to watch your content when they see that it's 20 minutes long and it's about the stupidest drama possible it's just like what are we doing here yes sensitive society you might not upload full 20 minute videos, but you upload 10 8 minute videos about the same person over and over again. That is slop. That is the same exact thing. In fact, I'd rather watch one 20 minute video covering everything than your lazy seven videos on the same fucking person in the same drama. You also talk about people dragging things on and wasting your time when you literally repeated yourself like 10 times and that like two minute time frame. You want to talk about people dragging on their videos when you literally just fucking did that yourself. Like these channels are literally just the epitome of rules for thee but not for me. Cause they'll all play this holier than thou like role and then not understand that everything that they're saying is applicable to them and their channels. I counted four videos on KSI on Sensitive Society's channel that are all 10 minutes or more 
uploaded in the last month, yet he is complaining about 20 minute videos. What you're saying is way more than applicable to your own channel. While researching for this video, I came across a video by the YouTuber Ichido where all he did was make a fool of himself in front of the internet, <laughs> while not even crediting the video he stole to react to. The person in his original video comes off as smart and understanding on the topic that she is discussing. I watched her video myself and it's really well done. However, the moron behind the Ichido channel did not understand a lick of what this woman was talking about. All he did was take her words and twist them to fit his own Gen Z is sensitive and I have to walk on eggshells agenda without understanding what she was even saying. Even his own comments were calling him out and calling him stupid. I'm going to play a clip for you, then read the comments, basically saying he had no clue what the fuck he was even talking about. Imaginary scenario that philosopher Benjamin Idelson considers in his recent paper, The Etiquette of Equality. In one sense, we can say that the second student is just performing a reductio, which is when you criticize an argument by showing how it leads to an absurd conclusion. For example, when Socrates said, humans are defined as featherless animals with two legs, and Diogenes brought him a featherless chicken <laughs> to prove him wrong. Similarly, the second student is logical. What? He's brought him a featherless chicken <laughs> to prove him wrong. Oh, okay, so he's basically calling him a silly goose. I get it. So I don't know who Diogenes is, Diogenes nuts or something. Not really familiar with this guy's game. Sounds like a goat, though. If he's friends with Socrates, then he sounds like a real OG. Might get back to that uh, later or something. Might have to check out his work. But that is that is a style of thinking that I've noticed take place sometimes, where if you'll, you'll make an argument and then people extrapolate the wrong thing from that. You know, Plato here, he says, Men are featherless bepids, or bipeds, I don't know what that word means, and then Diogenes pulled, plucked a chicken and brought it to him, and he's like, oh, here's a man. Hilarious, because that's not what he's saying. Diogenes is representative of the current day quote unquote, now you're saying crowd or the so you're saying crowd. It's when you say one thing and then there's this type of person who would respond with the phrase, so you're saying that and then say something that you didn't say. So if you say, for example, yeah, I think biking to work is good because it's better for the environment. Oh, so you're saying you hate people who drive cars? No, actually, I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. You're just wrong. And Diogenes is like, oh, so you're saying this is a man? Fuck you, Diogenes. Yes, bitch. Like, it's sometimes fair to extrapolate conclusions based on what people are saying, and I might do it sometimes, so don't catch this as a contradiction. But people who do that sometimes are just, like, doing it in the most bad faith or just retarded way possible. Similarly, the second student is logically showing how the first student's principle, a state may not base its criminal laws on bare moral disapproval, leads to absurd consequences, such as making bestiality immune to punishment. I mistook what Diogenes was trying to say. Diogenes was making an extreme example from within the confinements of the statement, rather than implicating otherwise. Allow me to elaborate. A featherless biped is anything that ha which has two feet and is featherless. A featherless chicken is an extreme example of the definition but falls within the definition. Your example of if you say you like cycling in a Diogenes type person would say, oh, so you hate driving, is not the correct comparison since liking cycling doesn't define hating driving. Diogenes did something logical and your example was someone being illogical. Dude, a reductio is not about arguing in bad faith or putting words into another person's mouth. It's taking a premise and taking it to, to its logical extremes. If you deny the logical extreme, you need to find a way to draw a line or accept that your original premise was flawed. For instance, if we say that human beings are only humans if they possess consciousness, then applying a reductio, someone in a permanent permanently vegetative state or with severe dementia is no longer a human being. She made a video about etiquette and this is how you respond. Seems like public education didn't work so well for the US. You don't even know the difference between a straw man fallacy and Diogenes Reductio, which is high school level philosophy. Given the position that you are a fan of edgy humor, you are obviously not a serious man. She presented her arguments and multiple solutions to this dilemma, but you didn't even properly analyze what she said 
response was mocking something that she doesn't even support. I also don't think the same when it comes to online behavior, but she has done an amazing job presenting her viewpoint. You were cool with the drama videos, but you're obviously not eligible to be talking about this stuff. Just stick to your own field because you're embarrassing yourself. The older you get, the more you realize how stupid commentary channels are. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be funny to include that because it was like one of the first top comments that I read. While I understand we cannot all be blessed with wits, you'd think before making an assumption on a well put together and well argued video, you'd make a good argument to respond with. However, Cheeto didn't. He took her video, didn't credit her for it, misconstrued her arguments, then didn't even present a counter argument as to why her arguments were bad in the first place. I will be linking her video as it is a good video and it is well done, unlike a Cheeto's video where he just stole the content and didn't understand what she was saying at all. All in all, I think that these channels need their egos bruised and some backlash for their spammy content and hypocrisy. Most of the issues I find with these channels are issues that correlate to like narcissism and having an ego that is far too big for their own heads and feeling like you're on this high horse and pedestal in comparison to those who you are around or I guess to those who you are competing with since this is YouTube. Especially nowadays more than ever, I see people being blatantly hypocritical and criticizing people for things that they have done themselves, but because they have high numbers, they can get away with it. A fan isn't going to point out the fact you did what you're criticizing someone else for a week ago, and that just creates this echo chamber of just ego and never feeling like you're in the wrong and this is why the videos they make just this is why they make videos that just spam your homepage about someone who just spoke negatively about the content they create like you can literally say one negative thing about these guys they will make 15 fucking videos over the years over like over you and everything that they think you've done wrong literally just search fucking uh ethan is online sensitive society you will find so many videos that provide absolutely nothing of substance. It's just sensitive society getting mad that he got his ego hurt because someone said his videos were lazy, which they are. It seems that they just expect the world to revolve around them and their bad content to the point that they'll justify borderline spam in a borderline content farm as just another day in the business uh, when it's not. It's lazy, it's repetitive, it's uninspired, and most importantly, it takes away from actual creators who've put effort into their content, whether it's the content they stole to react to, or just the fact that the homepage is flooded with actual slob. Anyways, if you liked this video, you can help me out by leaving a comment or even subscribing. If you want to buy my next coffee, you can become a patron on my Patreon or become a channel member by hitting the join button right next to the subscribe button. I also have a discord server if you want to come and hang out and chat, but that should be about it. Anywho, I'm Ren, I'm tired, and thank you for watching.